Thanks, Kovacic, with you, along with uh, Kurt Carell and, and Dave Mondale. We're, we're here live for uh, the varsity contest between the Southwestern Spartans and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. Again, Dave, it's going to be a, a good matchup tonight. they got a great senior in... Uh, A.J. Gerker averaging almost 19 points a game. Big focus, big score for Trinity Lutheran tonight. Here are the starters for Trinity Lutheran's Cougars. At a guard, 5'10 sophomore, Tyler Gerker. Tyler Gerker is a starter. Trent Shoemaker, the other guard. 6'2 senior, 32, A.J. Gerker. A.J. Gerker, the lead scorer. 5'11 freshman, 15, Mitchell Hackman. Mitchell Hackman starting forward. 6'5 sophomore. 25, Jack Marksbury. Jack Marksbury rounds out starting five for Trinity Lutheran. And Dan Nelson will introduce the uh, right, Spartan lineup. All right, people, let's get on our feet. Let's get loud. Here's the starting lineup for your Southwestern Spartans. That's our guard, six foot junior, Tim Austin Blutcher. Austin Blutcher. That guard, 5'9 sophomore, 14. And a card saw the guard. And forward, 22, 6'2", sophomore, Christian D. Armand. Christian D. Armand, the uh, one forward. And forward, 6'1", junior, 25, Drew Drake. Drew Drake, the other forward. And forward, 6'5", senior, 20, Blake McCurr. Blake McCurr will be in the middle and round out the starting five for Southwest. Little Spartans are in the house to give the uh, Spartans a big boost tonight. I think we got Betty Ball at halftime right, now. Right yep. And it's interesting. The series is split seven games apiece. Is that right? But the um, Spartans winning five of seven contested here at the Spartan Dome and two and five when playing down at Trinity Luther. And they won down there last year because... They not only shot the lights out from behind the arc, but Trinity Luther lost their composure. A couple of players uh, picked up technical fouls in that game, and from what I understand, had to sit suspension out. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll have that tonight, a good, clean ball game. Uh, pretty good crowd tonight for a girls' Friday night ball game. And, uh, no, I thought we were a boys' boys Friday. Ball, boys' ball game. I saw two of the girls' basketball players down in the front row. Yeah, it's easy to mix them up. Drake tried to jump center, controls the tap. And we got a mix up with his front court or back court. One foot was on the, in the back court, and the other foot was uh, front court. The rest didn't blow the whistle, so we're playing on. Watch her with it. Big post advantage in the middle with Blake, as we usually do. But Got to keep him out of foul trouble. Out of the corner. Off the side of the board. Blotcher missed a three badly, and it's cleared out of there. A blocking foul as Anna Cartzell got back too late. Coach Days gives him a double clap. Good try, just a little more solid. That's why two free throws. Four trade Luther and 15. Mitchell Hackman. Mitchell Hackman is. And they're trying to make sure that the foul can, or the count the bucket. Yep. Two's on the board. Yep. Hackman did a good job of avoiding the charge by Hartzell. Hartzell got down and he took a half euro step and got around and made the bucket. For the old-fashioned. Yep. Three-point play is rolled in by Mitchell Hackman. 3-0 Trinity Lutheran on top. Hartzell bringing it up over to Blotcher. Blotcher with it. Over to Diarmit. Diarmit. And a Hartzell with it. Back up top to Drake. Oh, good Trying to get... Pass. Blake McCoy, they sandwich him, but he dishes it up. Christian DeArmond missed a three. It was around the rim and out. Cleared out of there by Hackman. The Cougars go into the attack. Long three. Off the rim. Oh, we forgot to block out there, Dave. Rebound to the corner. Cougars, Cougars drive the basket. Yeah. Dish and kick. Count it. 30-25. Jack Morsberry. 5-0 Cougars. Yep. 6.51 to go. we got to get the offense going. Hartzell for an open three. Missed it. Nope. Rebound Cougars. Cougars on the Shoemaker. They're pushing up quickly. 
This is the Christian Dion records the rebound, and the Spartans are going to the attack, trying to push it up with Annie Cartsell. Looks over to defense, gives up top to Drake. Drake, around the perimeter over to Blotcher. Blotcher, back to Drake. Hartsell, pull up in the paint, no. Open three to Blotcher. And missed that one. Blake McClure gets a rebound. Third time's the charm. Blake McClure got the offensive rebound and put it in. Five two Southwestern Trails driving. And they call the blocking foul on Blake McClure. Cut him on the side and didn't get him flush. That's his first team sack. We cannot afford to have very many fouls. That was a good block by DeArmond, actually, after the block. The ball was actually in the air. Play hadn't stopped. So as a result, it's a two-shot foul. Yep. Well, he hides the referees. No wonder. Made the first 6-2. And we're inside six minutes. Second one is coming. McClure looking there, getting set to crash the boards on the release. Shot goes in. Shoemaker with a two free throws. 7-2, Trey Lutheran on top. Over to Drake. Drake to the arm it. The arm it with it. Over to Hartzell. Hope to find Drake. Quick McClure. The sandwich team in there. Foul underneath. But you only call one of them. Looks like Blake took a shot to the head. He's wiped his eye right eye about three times. I think he's all right. And like Dave says, with three fouls on him, but you only call one of them. Blake McClure on a feed in mass from Drake, and the deficit is cut down. 7 4, 5.36 to go. Driving cut off Shoemaker. Cougars trying to work it around. Good collapsing defense by the Spartans there on the dribble penetration. Driving is Shoemaker. They're having to kick out, trying to drive in. Tippy towing in is Tyler Gawker. Tyler Gerker uh, tiptoed in for a two, and it's 9 4. Good move by him. Drake with over to DeArm it. DeArm it. Trying to find Blake McClure underneath. McClure with a move. No. Could not get the rebound as it squirts through his hands. And A.J. Gerker clears the rebound. And the Cougars under the attack. Driving. That's Hartzell's second. Shoemaker eludes him. Puts it in. And Hartzell picked the second up. And a three-point play opportunity. Three-point play opportunity. Check in in the ball game. is Caleb Hudson. Marshall a sophomore. He's got to got to learn to let that one go in the first quarter. That foul there puts him on the bench. And hey, he already picked up two of them. The first half. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, Gawker knocked it away, but but I'm not down there, so I can't make that call. And the man out of bounds. Screen Underneath. Across. Can't get it to go. Challenge. Shot was challenged by Noah Muldoon. And he secures the rebound after challenging the shot. Blake. Underneath. In the corner, Drake. Hudson. Muldoon trying to set things up. But throw it away. Taken away by Gawker. Oh, good defense by the Army. And cleared out of there by Drew Drake. Gerger's a score, and DeArmond held him out. Yep. we got a much bigger lineup right now for the Spartans in. Oh, uh, got caught for steps. Oh. You better be careful about that. Noah Muldoon slammed the ball down after uh, getting caught for traveling. Run the risk of getting a technical yeah. if you're not careful. You get frustrated. Oh, good job by... Hodson, good defense, denying going back he forward, Hodson. Hodson. Hits the pocket and going to the other end. We got a lost shoe, lost and found on the side, and we got a lost ball from the Spartans. Hodson down through the steal. <laughs> well, I guess they're going to reset the offense. Driving is Muldoon. 
reverse, reverse layup. layup. Oh, They're going to have to call timeout. The officials are going to call timeout while um, Mitchell Hackman decides to put his shoe back on. He's uh, figuratively speaking, blew a tire he there. He did. And you know what? Thank goodness the Spartans took advantage of that, as it may, that they were able to score basically playing five on four. Yeah. He tried to get down with even one shoe on. <laughs> back Should to live action up here. Hackman with it. With a shoe back on. Shoemaker with Olga Bumpa Muldoon got away with it. Driving around it and underneath to Marksbury over to the corner. Missing a three is Shoemaker and rebound cleared out of there. Drake to the corner! Drake, yeah, I saw that one. Drake over to McClure after taking it coast to coast. I don't know if we have a replay on that. But. Yeah, we did. I'll tell you what, that's a great catch by McClure. Drake had that ball with some heat on it coming at him. And great feed by Drake after clearing the rebound and going coast to coast, following that missed shot the other end. If McClure makes his free throw, we'll have the deficit cut to 2 with 3.07 left. Trinity Lutheran subbed in 45, one of their post players here to combat Big Blake in the post. Kylie Bartels is the one that uh, you're making reference okay. to that checked in. Oh, up, off the fingertips. Off the fingertips of Hackman and Muldoon takes it away, and here we go to the other end. Caleb Hodson for three, a little long. Missed it. Oh, Hodson with a steal. Shoemaker fell down after getting the rebound and threw it right to Hodson after he fell down. Drive by Muldoon, kick over to Drake, over to Hodson. Hodson over to Yarmouth, Yarmouth driving, finding an opening, gets cut off over to Drake. Drake pulls up oh. over the top, no, put out of a shoemaker, and the Cougars are under the attack. Let's go to the other end. Driving. Hodson with a great defense there, great rebound he by He backed Diarmid. up. Yarmouth cleared out of there. Shot was missed by the Cougars at the other end, and Hodson. Got a kick ball. Yeah, we're, we're inside playing basketball. We're not outside playing soccer. <laughs> Looks like the Spartans are trying last possession to try and get the ball into McClure again, establish some post-dominance. Oh, good Blake. pass. Drake Great block by, by Gerker. Yep. Hudson hit the wide open three. The Spartans yeah. take the lead, 12-11. Yep. McClure stayed with it after having the shot block to get the assist. Shots missed over there. Blake's got to watch that. Can't be over the top trying to play aggressive. Cannot pick up that second foul. Got away with one there. Sports picking up man to man underneath. Mid 49 to go. 12 11 Southwestern on top. As ball's inbounded. Great score, A.J. Gawker. Held scoreless at this point. But driving to the hoop is Hackman. He rolls it in. 13-12, Cougars on top. Bringing it up and looking over the defense. It's hot, so try to figure out where to run the plate at. Coach Days wants him in a specific spot. He's calling him out. I'll do it with it up top. Drake. Drake over to Hodson. Hold on with it. And to arm it. Up top. Oh, and look. a three is missed by Hodson. Yeah, good look on that. Can I get it to go? We're closing in on the final minute. 13 12, 20 Lutheran on top. Driving, kick up top. Hackman had to kick up top to Shoemaker as he got quickly cut off. Went about went out of bounds on that one. Shoemaker. Charge. Oh, got player control foul. A charging call, a Trent Shoemaker underneath. See, Drake got his feet set. Saw the yep. drive coming, held it, took the charge. And unlike Anna Cartso earlier, who wasn't able to get set in time earlier in this game. 50 seconds, got a shooter back in the ball game. Boxer's on the, the left wing here. 45 seconds. Smart trying to work around Blotcher. Over to Hodson. Drake with it. Blotcher from the other corner. Oh. 
takes the three. And you got to follow the shot. But he does not. Shoemaker takes the rebound, goes the other end. With a great jump stop. Keaton Bright. Or Caden Bright. Looks like Brock Kissel's going to check in for the Spartans in the second one. Spartan yep. 40, Blake McClure. McClure picked the second up. We cannot afford that. We'll end up losing our edge in the paint with him. Yes, they did. Free throw is missed. Hey, we got two on Blake McClure and two on Anna Cartzell. Two people we cannot afford to have foul trouble because we need our inside scorer and Hartzell's been able to pick up the score when some of the other shooters have. Uh, time, time for somebody else step up, step in. Yep, half two now. Kate Bright makes one of two. 14-12 uh, Southwestern Trails. 23 seconds left. Drake just about traveled, but, but doesn't. Kissel. Oh! The Southern uh, Trinity Luther knocked it away. The Trinity Luther fans are not happy with that call. Officials did a good job there of communicating back and forth. I, did you see what I saw? No, I didn't. Well, sometimes you have to. Yep. Try to get the call right. Fans may not like it, but you got to live with those decisions. Four, three. Three is off the rim as time expires. Caleb Thompson missed the three. We have played one. Trendy Lutheran on top of Southwestern, 14-12. Back in 60 seconds. Is brought to you by Michael P. D. Armit, attorney at law. Being arrested and or charged with a crime can be scary. Michael P. D. Armit has devoted the vast majority of his 20 plus year career to handling criminal cases. Having served as both a defense attorney and as a deputy prosecuting attorney, he's uniquely positioned to identify legal and factual issues in your case. Call for a consultation at area code 812-375-2503 or visit his website at thearmatlaw.com. That's thearmatlaw.com. Back on here from the Spartan Dome, Dave Covington along with Kurt Correll and our producer Dave Blondell. Second quarter about to start. Spartans will be coming out with Blotcher, with Hudson, with Drake. Oh, they set the ball down. They're ta taking their time. Two, three, four. Hey. Better get out of that halftime break quicker next time. Or quarter break, Wide whichever it is. Three. Miss. Good block out by the Army. And cleared out of there by Kessel. I didn't even get a chance to get the lineup set up. McClure's having to set, picking up two fouls, so somebody else is playing in the middle. They probably had to switch the arm it over there. Out of the corner, a three is knocked in by Caleb Hudson. And Spartans with that three take the lead back 15 14. Smith's Esau battle. Caden Bright with it now. Backdoor cut. Great defense. Backdoor by Drake. And Hudson with a steal. That was as bad as, as good as you can defend a back cut. Entry Drake pass there. is knocked away. Entry pass knocked away. Kessel stepped on the line and the Cougars will take over. Great hustle by Blake, Blake Kessel there. Line up uh, Caden Bright. Tyler Gawker. Trent Shoemaker. Jack Marksbury and A.J. Gawker as a lineup for the Cougars. Long three! Missed badly by Caden Bright. Drew Drake cleared the rebound and we got a whistle and a foul. Shoemaker second. Team's fourth. Yep. We're, we only got the foul line one time, Mose. We may have to uh, drive the hole, but if they're cutting off the lane, they and if they give us open threes, and we'll have to try and knock those down, try to free something up. But sometimes that does not always work. Trinity Luthan looks like they switched defenses. Yep, looks like they're giving a different look on the zone. A little 1-2-2 two, two zone. 
then to two three, then yeah. one two two, uh, and knocked handed. away. Oh, great pass. Hotson lost. The, followed the missed shots. Worker did. Rebound by Drake. Drake trying to come out of there into traffic. Ball is bouncing around. Somebody control it. Trinity does on the break. Challenge by Drake on that shot. Rebound. It's been batted around. Bright comes a out. High with energy it. basketball there. No points though, folks. Spartans still have the one point leads. We're inside six minutes. They got to really bring the defense. Trinity's going to uh, work the ball around, get whatever they can. Driving. Oh, good block. Oh, they're going to call that in the back. Kissel, I think, blocked the ball, but Blaucher got him with the hands. I still got Mark a block shot up for that. Yep. Ball goes in. The count. Yep. That's Blaucher's first, but we've already picked up five team fouls. A little hard. Free throw missed by Tyler Gawker. Coach Days is moving Hartzell back in for Hodson. Yep. I'll tell you, he's got to be very careful right now. Cannot be too aggressive on the defensive side of the basketball. Can't pick up that third foul here in a second. And that's why Blake's having to sit down for most of this quarter for that very same reason. Second free throw is around the room and in. Gawker makes one of two. Not A.J., but Tyler. We're 15 all, Dave. Yep. Five and a half to go. Drake with it now. Driving his heart, so back to Drake. Drake trying to drive into the zone and loses okay, the ball. Ball's up. The kicked it. around. And taken out of there by Marksbury. Oh, we got a long three from Trinity Luther. Deonna pulls the rebound down in traffic. Yep. Hearts and we're going to the other end. Attack. Working around. Drake over to Kissel now. Shorted it. Pull up is not good by Hartzell and cleared out of there by the Cougars. Long three. Three attempt by Gurker. Cannot get it to go. Hartzell couldn't handle the ball up the sideline against pressure there. Got a little too quick. Yeah, that could be a disadvantage here. 15-15 score. Which day he's getting into the boys to get their butts down on defense and try and get a stop here. They need to get one. They don't need uh, the Cougs. Oh, There's a stop. The the Younger with a steal. Ah, too short of a pass. Good look down court, though. That's almost Second like. Second charge for Drake. Second charge for Drake. And who got this one? Might be number five. It is. Kate Bright. And that's also a turnover for. Yeah, they gotta get. They gotta get Blake McClure. And they gotta get him going. He can't pick up that fifth foul. Or fourth foul. Still. Or third foul, rather. There's Sandwich McClure triple teaming him. He fights. He gets out of there. Drake. Drake fights an opening. Oh, he missed the dunk. He's going to get a technical foul for hanging on the rim. Drake blew, Drake blew the dunk, but then hung on the rims. He tried to get the ball back. That's going to be a technical foul on him. So we're going to the other end for free throws for Trady Luther. You can do that in the backyard with your buddies, but you can't do that in a varsity basketball game. No. Knew what he was trying to do, but was frustrated when he missed it. I like going to the hoop aggressive, especially after so, taking two charges. Kirker makes the first. One more coming. Uh, Dave, I think you get equity with the coach when you take a couple charges. Yeah. But that was a technical foul that's in the wrong place, wrong time. Yep. And it really shifts the momentum after the charge. Days moves both the starters with two fouls back to the bench. Yep. Wide open three from the corner for Trinity. 
Whoa, a lot of bodies flying around. Great job by Blake. Great throw. Here we go. Up top, three blown. No. Great transition. Shoemaker putting it back. But they only got one point off of that technical. And up top of Shoemaker. Trinity's going to pull it back out here and run an offensive set, it looks like. 16-15, Trinity Lutheran on top, 3.30 to go. Blake Kissel having a body up against a real big down in the post. Yep. Trinity's tallest player is only 6-2. Oh, great take to the hoop. Missed it. Hodson and put out the Hodson. Now they're going to the other end with it. Watcher cut off. They give up top to Kessel. They have to reset the offense. Out of the Hot behind the arm. Hudson on assist from Kessel. Uh oh, got bottle on the floor. Uh oh, what just happened there? Oh, yeah. One of the students after the three point shot got a little excited. Might have lost your Coke bottle down on the floor. And we got no spills though. Yeah, we gotta be careful about that. Just right. throw stuff on the floor. They Technical be reason for any reason for an ejection. Spartans up two, two forty six left. Working around is the Cougars. He's cut off. He lost his dribble on top of all that and give up top to Gucker. Tyler Gawker. He is cut off all over by Blotcher. Gurker's doing a good job trying to penetrate there, but oh. Good spin. Great block out by Kissel. Spartans there he goes with away. it. Slowing it down. Nope. Speeding it up. I don't think you can slow it down against them and be able to get your... Uh, somebody missed the cut as Drake's pass goes out of bounds. Marksbury checking back in for the Cougars. Coach Dave looks at Drake and claps and says, Hey, I see what you're looking at. Just slow it down just a bit. He has. He has. He get, missed him. Trying Bunch to penetrate. Oh, injury. we got a bump and foul. He's still trying to get his basketball eyes, basketball legs under him. Pardon foul 22. Christian the Army picked up his first foul. Yep. That's a good point. Great point, David. Substitution for Trinity 14, Josiah Foster. That's a line shooting one and one for Trinity. 20, Too many fouls for the Spartans and the, send the Cougars to the line for one and one. Looks like McClure is going to check back in with two minutes left. Yep. Finally, the one and one is good by Shoemaker. He gets the second one. Was it Hart so or was it uh or was it Drake that got the te- was it Drake that got the technical early? Yes. Okay. It was Drake on the hang on the rim. Yeah. So Trinity's definitely in like a one-three-one half court trap. And they lost the ball again. So 18, 18 time and a half to go. Say this what? shot, Hotson clears the rebound. Great job against Gurker, who's been a great scorer for the Cougars so far this year, holding him pretty much in check in the first half. No points. Oh, that's way back in the parking lot by Caleb Hobson. He makes his fourth three. He shot that one clear from the parking lot, actually, uh, 30 feet. Oh, we got another. He got in the way. Team so control. Put his shoulder down, went to the hole. Hodson stayed in front of him, moved his feet. He picked his third up. That's his third. Yep. Actually, this was not a charge. It was actually a team control because the ball was up at the top. But that's three offensive fouls, though. It's a good point. Yep. 21-18. Three ball, another one! He's got five of them! We can't get, we need more time in this half. Three out of the corner, no! Nice job by Kessel getting the ball. And 
Hudson lost it off his hot hand, causing the ball to be too hot for him to handle. That's right. Yep. 40 seconds ago, and I'm trying to write stuff down. I'm behind. We're our team. We'll, get there. we'll get there. And Kurt have three ball. Three. Missed it. No good. A three bag got knocked up to him. Coach Days wants something specific out of Austin Bloucher. Yep. In fact, he's talking to him right now. Yep. Bloucher gives the nine. The Spartans head down court. 22 seconds left, 24 18. Spartans on a 6 0 run. Uh, oh! The armor wasn't in position, tried to save it, but. It's actually a bad pass. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, we got Drew Drake on the break. Sides in the corner. Great job by the armor to come in. Oh! Everybody all right. Wild little Half scramble time to horn. end it. Wild scramble to end it. Spartans up 24 18 to half. Yep. And we got halftime coming up. I'm having trouble keeping up trying to write this stuff down. <laughs> Tell you what, Spartan fans, let's take a timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds after these messages from our sponsors. This break is brought to you by Mux Crane and Contracting. Mux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. With over 20 years serving Columbus to Greenwood, Shelbyville to Indianapolis, and surrounding areas, Mux Crane and Contracting welcomes challenges that inspire our expertise. Call Michael Muck for consultation at 317-512-3614 or visit their website at muckscrane.net. That's muckscrane.net. We're here at halftime of the boys game with the Southwestern League 24-18. Lead score off the bench, Caleb Hobson. Five threes. 
for 15 points. Four in the second quarter. And the uh, Spartans are led by Drew Drake. Four rebounds. With Christian DeArmond. Mark Kissel each getting three rebounds each. Block shot by Kissel and by Christian DeArmond. Four assists for Brock Kessel, so he's not scoring any points, but he's been dishing it out. The scoring is spread out on Trinity Lutherans and Trent Shoemaker, five. Mitchell Hackman, five. Tyler Gawker, four. Caden Bright, one. And Jack Mulberry, or Jack Marksbury, with two. A.J. Gawker has not scored tonight, but he might light it up in the second half, so we got to be careful with him. Thomas from 2005 squad. Uh, 2003, actually. Here's the tough assignment regarding the uh, opposition's best player, and sometimes it uh, got left to get bumped and bruised. Tough kid, help him go to the state championship game. The blue team, the Spartan Catholic Vice Admiral and Valerie Wilkins, and Harper McInerney, Kayla Shepard, Olivia Pruitt, Eden Mitchell, Alden Johnson. Jesse Wilkins, Rylan Dunbar, and Kevin Norton. The white team, the Wolverines, their coaches Angie Taylor, assisted by Mark Taylor. They are Bentley Wilson, Georgie Taggart, Isabel Olivia Cox, Pruitt sounds familiar. I think she's the daughter of uh, Casey Pruitt. Is that right? Taylor, Isaac Palmer. Those are our first and second grade Little Spartan basketball players. Casey Pruitt played for Southwestern up until 2005 until she graduated. Okay, our third and fourth grade Little Spartan participants, the Red Team, the Hawks. Their coach is Elizabeth Jackson, assistant for Rochelle Burbrand. And they are Isabella Andrews, Landon Fix, Bright Grizz, Jackson Guy, Callie Beck, Jaden Thurston, <laughs> Sophia Burbrand, Marlon Jackson. The White Team, the Cavs, coached by Lindsey Harrison, Mayor Gavin Harrison, Liliana Sagasser, Charlie Newton, Ava Norville, William Stamper, Brandon Drake, Angus Taggart, Emma Bonebrake. And the black, what color is that blue? Okay, the blue team, Russia Dunbar's team. They are Blaine Dunbar, Mallory McInerney, Jay Utley, Jay Brown, Silas Harden, Mitchell Clemens, Brady Mitchell, and... Uh, it looks like some of them couldn't be here this evening. And yeah. the black team, the it's really good about Kirk Jason. Assisted by Chris Dillingham. 65 or 70% Chase, participation Manny on that like this. Yeah. Jason Carr, I, did, I did about Chloe eight Bird, years Jason of city ball coaching. I'll tell you what, it's, it's just simply some of the best times I've spent in the gym. Yeah. With most of the games on Saturday mornings, and with my place of work taking away my Saturdays, that, um, it's next to impossible for me to try to come out there. I came out there once. Uh, and now there are no juice boxes. Yep. I think I saw Jensen Tennell, Jay Tennell's little boy out there. Yeah, Caleb is a coach down there. Yeah. Be anxious to see what you two, uh, what your two daughters be able to bring to the table next year when when they're on you the Jamie's. They, uh, they're they're going to have an interesting season. We've only got six girls. Uh, Greta Dover decided to focus a little bit more on volleyball, so she's setting out this basketball season. So it's putting a lot of pressure on the rest of the girls. But they've uh, this isn't new to them. They usually play with six or seven. Uh, but yeah, it's a good group of kids. Uh, McKinley, Lauren, Amber Benson, coming from a long line of Bensons that have played in Southwestern. Yeah. Lily Rooks, Kaylee Anderson. So we've got a, got a full component there. Very true. 
Get one. Get one, Dave. Thank you. So, so therein lies uh, some of the other reason why the, the Spartan Dome looks a little more full this evening. Yeah, very true. We still got seven minutes to go till uh, we start the second half. But uh, the difference in the game is the shutting down of um, AJ Gawker. Yeah, I'll tell you, Gurker. 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 Gurker that's right. I always have trouble mispronouncing yeah. those names. So, uh, Gurker, how many points did he have at the half, Dave? He got shut out. He got shut out of the half. Yes. He, well, you know what? When you look at it, the, I mean, the, the Cougars have only got 18 points at the half, and that's his average. So, phenomenal job. Brady Days has got to be really happy with the defense that we put out. Three yep. charges taken. And uh, as far as defensively, held their leading score to zero points. So that's a that's quite a feat. Yeah. All with having two of our uh, main contributors on the bench, the majority of the first half with two fouls. Blake yep. McClure and Anna Carzel. Now Trinity only got four points in the second quarter. Two free throws with Tyler got get. Right. Uh, get Mr. Hodson's been the difference for the Spartans over in the first half. We had four threes in the first day. Had uh, five threes in the first five half, four in the second first, quarter. Four in the second quarter. I'm imagining there may be a re renewed focus on defending number 21 in the second half. Hopefully he stays hot, doesn't shoot himself out of it, getting the ball. Would have had a good look for a sixth one, but lost the ball out of bounds late. I'll tell you what, some good minutes uh, by Brock Kissel on the post up against a much bigger uh, Trinity Luther Cougar. Muldoon Especially after in. Blake McClure uh, got yep. saddled with two fouls. I know Muldoon came in, got great minutes there, so. Yep. Well, uh, Trinity Luther just comes out body language after half, just kind of walking out and. Well, they, they look like they're... They're probably not used to that. They uh, got done losing to Austin last night. That's true. Or That's Tuesday true. night, rather. I'm trying to check the notes here. That, um, yeah, they fell to Austin Tuesday night. Again, Ge Gecker's averaging 18.4 points, but has not scored any. Do not. Let's see if I can find them, David. Then on December 10th, I start refereeing uh, full board. Is that right? You got to be excited about that. I know you like doing it. Yep. I got 19 dates at all four of the uh, elementary schools. Is that right? So I'd be anxious to see what Shelby has uh, to offer on the table, both the boys and the girls. It looks like an update from Morristown. Was it Morristown and uh, Waldron playing tonight? Yeah. It looks like the Lady Mohawks win. The Lady 30, Mohawks 36 have won. 36 to 34, Waldron in a very tight, very low scoring game. 36 34. The Waldron girls knocked Jackson Dell off for the first time in eight years the other day. I saw that. In fact, uh, they knocked them off here to win the regional. And that was the last time. Jackson Dell had such a stellar program for so many years. Scott Smith does an amazing job with those kids, and he's just 
he continues to just reload down there, but Waldron's got a great senior team. They're quick. And now they're coach a lot better with uh, Scott Thomas versus uh, what they had before, which I won't get into on the air Scott on that. Scott Thomas does a great job over there, and he's so, really invigorated the youth program as well, gotten down yep. in the, the middle school and in the, in the elementary school. So there it is. There's the horn. <coughs> Trinity's coming out quickly on the horn this time, Dave. They're not going to say yeah. Hey. Even though Spartans have the ball, Christian DeArm, it will trigger it in to Caleb Hodson to start this third quarter. They also come out with Anna Cartsell, Austin Block, or not Austin Blocher, but Caleb Drew Hodson. Drake and uh, Caleb Hodson for three from the left side. Folks, he's still hot. Three. He's still hot. That's six. Uh, might be more than eight. I do know that. Um, Oh, great, great defense. Not the way. Might be eight. I'm not, I'm not really for sure. <laughs> he needs to be sitting a little bit further up. Portside seats are uh, sometimes can be dangerous, especially if someone's trying to save the ball. Cougars come out with Tyler Gecker, Trent Shoemaker, Shot is up, missed, and Caleb Hobson with the rebound. Right rebound. They're probably not going to let him get open anymore. McClure lost it out of bounds. He had, the referees had to get help underneath on that. It got knocked away. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> got a stack out of bounds play. Gonna get Hudson another look. And just out top. Still working around the army with it. Drake. Yeah, nobody backs off. Trying to direct, direct traffic down. Good look, good look. To good McClure look. underneath and he lays it in. Great assist by Drake. Drake moved the, the defense with his he eyes. He set the McClure the up and threw it over the top. Working around. Spartan uh, fans are going boing, 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 pass every time it dribbled or pass. Great defense by Blake McClure. Dangerous defense. That was better by Hartzell. Mitchell Hackman, Mitchell Hackman uh, eluded uh, Anna Cartzell there. Who was playing with two fouls. Didn't need to pick his third up, so he had to back off on the turn. Had to let him have it. You really don't, don't want to get in those situations. Sometimes they come up. That's how you deal with it. So Gecker, Hackman, Shoemaker. For a bucket. Just Mark Sperry and. Saw the seam, got the two. And Gecker is the uh, stars. Oh, trying to get it at the other end is Caleb Hodson, but he slid, slides out of bounds. A little floor burn there as he's shaking his hand. His he gets back hand. on defense. It's his left hand. He'll still be able to shoot, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Little floor burners tried to save the ball after knocking it away. Trinity looks like they're trying to slow the offense down here. But they're down 11. They can't slow it down too much. 5.46 to go, and they're down 11. Great defense. And A.J. Gecker's not scored yet. But I don't want to speak wow, too soon great on defense that. by Christian the Army. He traveled! Into a travel. A.J. Gecker got forced into a travel. He's still not scored tonight yet. 5.36 left. Uh, great defense by Christian DeArmit there. Trinity Luther coach up trying to give instruction on defense to his players. Work around hard sell. Oh, good look. Underneath man. the McClure. McClure kicks it out. Great He receives it back. Uh, oh, McClure had idea. taken away. Almost tied up there. He's got to keep that ball stolen high. Great Ecker. defense by Trinity. McClure had the ball stolen, taken away from him in the paint. He gets a rebound at the other end, and the shot is missed. And Spartans will push it up. Hartzell with it, but slows it up. And we got that. I'm trying to figure out what the call is because. Calling jump ball. Great, great deep. 
Great defense by Gerker, but I'm not sure you can jump over a guy on the floor. No. They called the foul on Gerker because he jumped over him. Coach Days did a great job of talking to the officials about what happened. Coach way out of the box. It was Sandra McCourt. Oh, we went, oh, Drake tried for another dunk, but this time he let it go. Almost a put back. He tried he tried to dunk instead of trying to put it back, but yep. realized that uh, he didn't want to pick a second technical up because uh, that'll be the ball game for him in the next one. Yep. Driving his mouth, oh, Muxbury. Hots in the other way. Euro step, left hand basket. Yep. He's got 20 off the bench. Timeout, Trinity Lutheran. Yeah, to get this thing before that, it stops. It's going to have a hand for them. Time They're not out. used to this. It will be a full timeout. Full timeout, 60 seconds. We'll take a commercial break. It is brought to you by Michael P. D. Armit, attorney at law. Being arrested or charged with a crime can be scary. Michael P. D. Armit has devoted the vast majority of his 20-plus year career to handling criminal cases. Having served as both a defense attorney and as a deputy prosecuting attorney, he's uniquely positioned to identify legal and factual issues in your case. Call for a consultation at area code 812-375-2503 or visit his website at thearmitlaw.com. That's thearmatlaw.com. Seems like you're trying to lose. Back here at Spartan Dome, 421 left third quarter. Spartans on top, 33-20. Caleb Hodgson now. Bright is now back in. How many threes does Caleb have now? Is that six? Six threes and a field goal. He's got 20 points. That's fantastic. Bringing it up is Gek Tyler Gecker. Now with AJ. Trying to elude Christian the arm, but he's holding his ground. Drake tried to take a charge, but um, apparently no contact made. I'll tell you what, Christian Diarm is still on Gurker. Yep. Up. Oh. Eluding the defense and putting it in. Mitchell Hackman scores, and oh, he's got nine up in a one, points. 1 2 2 press. It's Trinity. Over to Hackman Drake. in the three. That's seven. Got another one! That's seven. He got another one! He got another one! Spartans are opening this up little by little. 36-22. Three ball from Bright. He missed that one. And cleared out of there by Hartzell. Three! That's eight. If he don't have the record by now, he's closing in on it. That's his eighth one. 26 off the bench. Still a lot of time left to play, too. Good take. Good take. Good take by Metro Hackman. He draws a foul. And he'll go to the line. It's first foul against the Sparks. And Karts will pick this third up. Hackman go to the line for two. I think we just got confirmation. I'm just going to double check. Bryce. Bryce. Free throw is missed by Mitchell Hack. Ten, eight. eight ties it. Eight. But I don't want to say anything. We got some unofficial. 
word that eight may be the record for made threes in a game. We're going to try to get that confirmed. And a couple players hold that. I think one of them sitting in the front row that would know, Bryce Rowe. Yeah. Cougars come out again in the, tra the half-court trap. Pulled it to full court. Broke it. Working around. Penetrate Dearmit over to Drake. Is. Drake. Drake in a double team. Kicks up top to Dearmit. Dearmit. Uh, Had it blocked. Fought got, for his own rebound. Fought for his own rebound. And got it back. AJ Gecker got to the other end. It's a 30 second timeout. Why timeout by Brady Days to use a 30 second timeout, keep possession. After uh, the arm had a shot blocked and then he got his own rebound back, but couldn't do anything with the ball being down low there. Why timeout. 2.33 left, 39.23. And the big question now is when is AJ Gecker going to get going? That's right. He is still scoreless, and I am shocked. If he's uh, going in an average in 18 a game, 18.4. Say it's been a great team defense against him, but I noticed Christian uh, Diarmas pretty much picked him up most time. Christian's a good matchup for him. Christian, a big lefty, quick on his feet, pretty wide body. But as a sophomore, that's a pretty good defensive ball game. Yep. And speaking of that, he's triggering the inbounds. And Blake McClure, have to get it up top. Oh, they switched. They put a. Uh, A.J. Gerker on Hudson. Over to Dearmit. They're watching uh, Hudson now. But we still got another quarter to play. 2.15 to go in the third. Still got another quarter to play. Dearmit. Hudson with oh! the Baby's going to go to the line and try and get the old-fashioned three. Yep. I hope that counts, but... My goodness, he's having a heck of a ball game. Great drill. 28 Great off the bench. Wanted to get one more. 21, Caleb Hodgson. 28. 29. And as far as bench scoring on my personal stat sheet, he is just erased Courtney Master and Andy Winnie of Yorktown. Is that right? Because both of them got 28 off the bench, but that's his 20. That's Kale Hobson's 29th Point. off the bench. Now we got a hand check hand underneath. Check. I'll tell you what, though, the story, the story of the night, not only is Hobson, who's obviously having a, a great basketball game shooting the ball, but really it's the defense that's setting it all up. Yep. The Spartans have opened up a 19 point lead here. 42 23, 153 to go. Tyler Gecker has had to pick up. Oh, he's going to crank a three up and make it. He's trying to open things up. That's the seventh point. 42 26, so down 16. For three on the quick break. Bucket. Assist, assist from Caleb Hodson. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's really opening things up. Another three. They're trying to get back in with a three. If they can't, uh, if they can't get AJ Gecker open, some of the other guys are hitting it. So now Tyler Gecker hit a three, and now. Jack Marksbury hit a three. 45 29, still 16 point lead. Up, oh, they lost the ball as Drake made a bad pass there and taken out of there by Tyler Gecker. There's Gerker for three now. That's his first pass. He, he broke it on a pass from his brother Tyler Gecker. That's his first scoring. Blaster for three in the corner. Round he wraps it in! He rammed that one in! Coach Day's not not happy with the with the lead right now, calling for his team to D up. Well you have to because uh, Drake with a big oh, block. Block! Blocked by Drake! Cougar foul 15, which will happen. Back in the lineup, Hartzell. Hartzell. Hartzell back in. Hartzell for Hodson. And then Hartzell for Drake. Hodson's going to go down and play the wing. Hartzell take the point. Spartans bringing yep, up 38 30 48 32. Driving is 
Watcher cannot get it to go. Scrambling for the rebound underneath. Got a foul. Looks like it's going to be on number 20. Mike McClure got the rebound and foul underneath. Foul dirty loser 20, Trent Shoemaker. That's his fourth, and he's one of the ones who's been picking up the scoring slack. Caden Bright checking in. 18 and a half left here. Spartan with the ball, still maintain a 16 point lead. And uh, the Blake McClure, Thanks they triple teamed him and fouled him. Trinity Lutheran fans are very, very unhappy with that call. And I tell you, I think they've got a right to go. Blake's dropping that ball down low. He's got to come up high. And they will sandwich you if, if you're not careful down there. High inbounds to McClure. He takes it over to Blotcher. Hodson's going to throw it from the corner. Missed it. Good rebound by Trinity. Trinity right away quickly. Right got the rebound. Gerker left side two. One from the long. Oops. And left it way short. Uh, Jack, Jack Marksbury missed the three at the buzzer. The Spartans have doubled their scoring. by scoring 24 in the third. And lead this game 48-32. Back to 60 seconds. This break is brought to you by Mux Crane and Contracting. Nux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. With over 20 years serving Columbus to Greenwood, Shelbyville to Indianapolis, and surrounding areas, Nux Crane and Contracting welcomes challenges that inspire our expertise. Call Michael Muck for a consultation at 317-512-3614 or visit their website at muckscrane.net. That's muckscrane.net. Care of Spartan basketball here at the Spartan Dome. Fourth quarter about to get underway. Spartans lead 48-32. A blistering night for Caleb Hobson with 29 points, knocking eight threes down, and then 10 tries. So he's very efficient with it. Trey Luther will have the ball start the fourth quarter. Tyler Gecker, Jack Marksbury, Mitchell Hackman. Caleb's got 28, 29 points. 29. 29 points off the bench. Christian Yarmouk closed the rebound on the missed shot. And going all the way. Oh, no, I lost the ball. Hartzell tried to get in there, but lost the ball. And taken out of there by the Cougars. And we got found a three-point attempt. Yep. They'll go against Drew Drake. Drake got caught out of position. His man was open. Tried to close out. It's way too high. That's three free throws. He makes the first. Got two more coming. Sparks come out with Blotcher with Hartzell. The arm it. Drake and McClure. Second free throw is good. One more coming. Made them both. Made all three. Here we go. Picking them up full court. The arm it. Yeah, we're trying to break it over to Blotcher. Blotcher. I guess trap. Finds McClure underneath. Blotcher open for Blotcher. three from the wing. Got Bingo! it. Bingo! Austin Blotcher hits the 3-3. That's a touch in, and the Cougars come down on the left side. Oh. Marking like foul. Set. That's his third. It's 51-35 Southwestern on top, but they got to try to maintain this uh, lead, maintain the momentum. Up over top. And taken by A.J. Gecker. Long three. He missed... 
Up the side, the Red McClure tying him up. Great job by Blake McClure, keeping the ball high. We're going to foul underneath. Kicker foul 25, Jack Marsberry. Tell you what. That's his first, team sixth. Tell you what, Austin Blotcher's hit a couple threes also tonight, hadn't he? Yep, he's at three threes. Caleb Hobson's at eight threes. Only six, gentlemen. I think we're only at, there we go. We're going to walk one way, we're going to walk back. Cougars with 16 fouls. Next one puts the Spartans in the bonus. Picking yep. them up full court. And Trying to put pressure on. Yarmut inbounds it, takes it back over to Botcher. Trying to trap him in trap back court. Oh, oh fighting Blake McClure. Hartzell finds Blake McClure while being pressured, and McClure lays it in with nobody under the basket. Driving the holes, Hackman. He rims it in. Mitchell Hackman with a field goal. He's got 12 points. Oh, good look. Good faking. Go. Trying, to, trying to press. Blotcher breaks it down to McClure. Up top. Open three. Got it. Got it. And it comes. Oh, hits a three. Great ball movement. And the first kid off the bench to start clapping for Hartzell was Hodson. Yep. Now three different Spartans have made threes tonight. One's got eight, one's got three, one's got one. That's 12. Oh. They got a Seems like they, they got a uh, break on Gurker now. Oh, he makes the, the, the shot. Hey, he's warming up. Great press break. Yep. Underneath McClure, he got fouled from behind. Great look by Drake on the break. Yep. Now, Trinity Luther, five, eight, break. Smallest guy on it, try to get him. Uh, it's a good hand for Bloucher. Bloucher's done a good job on defense tonight and really hit the Definitely did. Threes. McClure will have a chance to. Too hard. Oh, what a. Oh, I thought roll. that had a chance to go, but it doesn't. Marksbury gets rebound. Right Cougars side. coming down Kick quickly. Marksbury got, got a three. Got three on the kick out by Gecker, and 56-42 leads 14. Oh, nice take by Hartson. Coast to coast. He drives in there. If he's not knocking a three, he drives it in there. Yeah, I think you're right. Hackman fouls. That's team eighth. Old fashioned. Got it. Yep. Got a couple subs coming in. It looks like Brock and Kissel's coming in. And a, a couple Kissel. Cougars are on the way in. Blake McClure getting a good hand from the crowd tonight. A lot of good work from the big guy. Yeah. Did a good job in the, so far in the second half about not picking up too many fouls. That's very true. Um, we got. Hartzell with three, McClure with three. They go for a little while. Uh, 17 point lead. Christian DeArmond has just done an amazing job on AJ Gurker. Yep. To the They're going to hop a step. My shoemaker Here's drives in and puts it in. Brady Phelps has eight on 127.7. Brady Phelps has eight threes on 127.7. That's mine, He just broke the record. Caleb Hobson just broke the record. That's, That's a 9-3. And got That's three missed it. up top. And Carts will close the rebound. And he goes all the way so coast man. to coast. Cannot get it to go in. Clear down there. Going up quickly is Marksbury. Drop back. Foster with it. Still great defense on A.J. Gurker. Oh, he's open for three there. He got caught in the double screen. He missed it, though. That one didn't look good leaving the... Foul's on the floor. That one didn't look good leaving his hand. It did not. Spartan foul, 20, Brock Kissel. That's only his first. Team Spartan Smith. Tyler 32 for Caleb Hodson. He's still far off the school record of 44 by Ryan Rooks. Bucket on the end, bounce by Jake Marksbury. 30-25, Jack Marksbury, but a timeout. For Trinity, it's a full timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is Spartan basketball. basketball. 
on. Break is brought to you by Michael P. D. Armit, attorney at law. Being arrested or charged with a crime can be scary. Michael P. D. Armit has devoted the vast majority of his 20 plus year career to handling criminal cases. Having served as both a defense attorney and as a deputy prosecuting attorney, he's uniquely positioned to identify legal and factual issues in your case. Call for a consultation at area code 812-375-2503 or visit his website at thearmatlaw.com. That's thearmatlaw.com. But there's still a lot of basketball to be played, and the three-point shooters are heating up for Trinity Lutheran, so the Spartans will have to try to withstand the storm. Trinity's backed out to full court press. The Spartans have outslot him with 13 threes. In the corner. Guess what, folks? He's going to He's open! Oh, left that one short. Let's cook. Coach Day's called a timeout there. He thought we had... Uh, Little trouble in the paint. Yep. Uh, Hudson missed the three, but Clerk picked up and rescued underneath Drew Drake, and we got timeout. This break is brought to you by Mux Crane and Contracting. Mux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. With over 20 years serving Columbus to Greenwood. Shelbyville to Indianapolis and surrounding areas, Mux Crane and Contracting welcomes challenges that inspire our expertise. Call Michael Muck for consultation at 317-512-3614 or visit their website at muxcrane.net. That's muxcrane.net. This break is brought to you by... Keep playing. Put 10 more. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that. They may get too hot themselves, make a comeback, turn around, beat us right. in like a double overtime if that happens. The armor will trigger it in. Oh. Gets it into Drake. McClure had a bad away, but gets it back and give up top to heart so they reset the offense. Drake. Great Down to McClure. Top to hot. Oh, he's thinking about that. No opening there. Coach Days is going to pop this thing down. Hotson for a set three. He got, got it! Got for three. Ten of 12 behind the arc. Set up by McClure. This shot. And. Great block out by Drew Drake. Hot Foster pushed off to try to get that rebound. And since it was on a since it was a rebounding foul, they're going the other end for free throws, and Drew Drake will be shooting a one on one. Look at Coach Day's having a great moment with Hodson over there. Maybe they might uh, give him the game ball. Who knows? Ten threes. Oh, halfway down it pops out. I hate it when that happens, and it's cleared out of there by Marksbury. Cougars into the attack, driving. Oh, could not get it to fall. Drake altered the shot. Hodson kept his dribble, curly Neal style there. <laughs> Got caught up in Cougar traffic. Yep. The armor trying to trigger it in. They'll get into that court. Drake will look over the defense before bringing it across. He brings it across. Being watched tightly by Gacker. Knocked away. 
Spartans will set it up, 65-46, 19 point lead with 3.12 to go in the ball game. Got a substitution coming in for Cougar. Ooh, got to the bench too late. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Drake did. Coach well, called that right for him, too. And Drake did not want got to. Um, 3 1 basket, Trent Shoemaker makes three at the other end. I don't think. Um, I don't think Drake wanted to get that second technical trying to miss the dunk, so he slipped it up there a little short. That was it. That's great for Coach Days to call that, though. It's two-shot penalty because it's Team 10. Especially when they're going to overplay Hodson in the guard play. Caleb Hodson's going to the line. Folks, surprisingly, made that one, too. I got a funny feeling uh, there's at least going to be one person watching this game over tonight. Sixty-six forty-nine. Our score, just under three minutes to go. Knocks another one in. Yep. Eighteen-point lead for the Spartans. Gerker Thirty-seven. AJ Gerker's getting hot. He's got eight points. He's probably going to try to get his average over the remaining two forty-two. They're probably going to need to try to save their. Uh, Great job by Diarmi getting his feet down quick there, yep. getting over in the back. Oh, uh, Hodson, they're trapping him in the corner. Knocked away, and I can't see down that corner. Full time out called by Southwestern. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is the Southwestern Spartans uh, Periscope Network. Is brought to you by Michael P. D. Armit, attorney at law. Being arrested and or charged with a crime can be scary. Michael P. D. Armit has devoted the vast majority of his 20 plus year career to handling criminal cases. Having served as both a defense attorney and as a deputy prosecuting attorney, he's uniquely positioned to identify legal and factual issues in your case. Call for a consultation at area code 812 375 2503 or visit his website at thearmatlaw.com. That's thearmatlaw.com. Yep. Back at Spartan Dome, 231 to go in the ball game, 67-52. Southwestern on top. Dearm it. The only thing I gave him was a better spot to inbound the ball. Tried to get it into Hartzell and it got knocked away. So Hartzell will now try to trigger in from the side. A little bit better vantage point than down the corner. Into Dearm it. Dearm it over to Hartzell. Hartzell being watched by Bright. He loots Bright. A pass up top Dearm it over to Hartzell. Being watched by Bright again, but there's a laner. Knocked the, oh! I thought Bright knocked it away, but he got called for a foul instead. That's a two shot foul. Well, a great, great job by Trinity Regents coach there. Great, great job. The, the guard didn't no, like the call, the call no, made a comment, and coach called him right over and said, We don't do that. So, great job by the coach. Well, after, after last year when uh, yep. exactly problems right. happened down. Uh, exactly right. That's good coaching. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, losing a player uh, to suspend you. Uh, yeah, technically suspend you. Free throws missed by both of them. A.J. Gonk. Gonk gets the rebound. I'm probably going to butcher these things. Oh, we got it. screen by 20. Team control. If it's a shoemaker, that's, he's gone. I think you're right. He's heading right to the bench. Again, they were trying to get Gerker open, so they're kind of trying to keep him set a screen on Christian Diarmit. Christian tried to fight through. He slid his feet. Good and he got least with uh, 10 points, 5 rebounds, 1 steal. It's a pretty good stat line on a 50-point night, 52-point night for the Cougars. Yeah. Ah, missed pass. Uh, Hodson wasn't ready for that pass. 
Good Foster took it away. Trying to work around, trying to get Gecker involved. Great. The arm is shutting him down. Driving in there, and two shot trip to the line by Mitchell Hackman. Hand on him. That's only his first. So that's what he's done wrong tonight, right, Dave? He's got one foul. <laughs> well, if we only had, if we go through a night with two fouls, then I'll take that. Wish we could do that with a girls team, but uh, with uh, the post players of uh, Van Gordon and the Tatlocks. They seem uh, to pick them up pretty quick. Well, because they drive in Trinity, on the post players. Trinity makes one or two and takes a timeout. Looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here. That's about all they got left. They got four on the 30 left. The Spartans have two fulls, one 30 left. And they also had the possession arrow and shooting a double bonus, trying to go through and shooting one and one. 143 left in this game. 67-53 Southwestern on top. This is, this is by no means a safe lead. Nope. Especially yeah, with I'm AJ. A.J. Gecker's been heating it up with eight points in the fourth quarter after being shut out the first three. It looks like you're going to come back out and look at a uh, at least a three-quarter quarter, a full-court pick out to try and put some pressure on the Spartans. Yep. Yarmouth's going to take the ball out. Hodson. Hodson and uh, Hartzell. Hartzell are going to set up. Hodson and Dre. Basically got four and a half guards in. Well, you'll need that to get the ball handled to beat the press. Go. Possibly to make free throws if they're forced to foul. The armor gets across the timeline. And you're called for steps. The armor trying to get over to Drake because he's being guarded tightly but took too many steps. That's a turnover. Got the wrong kid in the wrong <coughs> spot there. 135 left. Three ball out of the corner. He got Good. it. 11 point game just like that. Lots Josiah Foster. Leads cut to 11. Minute 22 to go. Brady Ace call for a timeout. Subbing Blake McClure in, it looks like. He's going to put him on the bench for a full timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is Spartan Basketball. This break is brought to you by Mux Crane and Contracting. Mux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. With over 20 years serving Columbus to Greenwood, Shelbyville to Indianapolis, and surrounding areas, Muck's Crane and Contracting welcomes challenges that inspire our expertise. Call Michael Muck for a consultation at 317-512-3614 or visit their website at muckscrane.net. That's muckscrane.net. Wanted to uh, hit their favorite spot to go out to eat on a Friday night after a ball game. That's right. Out of bounds, Dearmit. Right Dearmit will trigger it up front of the Spartan bench. They're not challenging him, but they give it in to Hartzell. Hartzell being challenged by Marksbury. Marksbury had to foul. Now we're going to try to ice this from the foul line. I like Gaze putting Hartzell out at the point. Getting some experience being strong at the point, being fouled late. He makes this one. He missed two a moment ago. He's trying to develop the sophomore into a, uh, a more experienced guard. Maybe, oh, oh, he missed the second one. That's why I don't uh, count my chickens before they hatch. Oh, oh they no. found him on a three-point attempt. They found A.J. Gecker on a three-point attempt. He's going to be shooting three free throws. Look at Dion. He's going to shoot three free throws. 68-56. Christian's out. so upset with himself. He's done a great job defending Gerker all night. And I think he's well, got one it, or two buckets against him, fouls him on a three. 
Well, you got to put that in the rear view mirror. That's right. And go on with the next plays. You can't let it dwell on him. He missed the second one, however. With one more coming. You got to put that in the rear view mirror. Have a short memory on it. At least until you get to your next practice and work on it from there. That's it. Made basket. They're going to pick him up full court. Timeout. Cougars. Try to figure out if it's a 30 or full. Full timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is uh, Southwestern Basketball on the Periscope Network. Brought to you by Michael P. D. Armit, attorney at law. Being arrested and or charged with a crime can be scary. Michael P. D. Armit has devoted the vast majority of his 20 plus year career to handling criminal cases. Having served as both a defense attorney and as a deputy prosecuting attorney, he's uniquely positioned to identify legal and factual issues in your case. Call for a consultation at area code 812-375-2503 or visit his website at thearmatlaw.com. For this game, 10-point lead for Southwestern, 68-58. Back into the Armit. Great job, the Armit. Get up to Hartzell. They're having to chase him. And they foul him. There it is. Josiah That's Foster with a foul, his second. Two-shot penalty. He's only made one of his last four. We need to make both of these. But he missed the first. One more coming. Check in is Noah Muldoon. Good hand for Blake McClure as he hits the bench. Maybe doing an offense defense here. He's been known to do that. Yep. Made them both. Second, no. Nope. Oh, made one. Made one. Made, made one. one or two. Leads 11. 52 seconds left. Three ball. Got it. They're not out of the woods. Take it ball Hit in. another three. Ball in, Drake. Back to Dearmit. Dearmit left. Go. Oh. We got away with one there. Got, got, two, got two hands and no ball there. Three three line for Spartans, Ken Austin Blotcher. Blotcher comes in. All offense, defense. Ethan Winling coming off the bench. Going to sub in for Drew Drake. 33, Ethan Winling. Winling, a great free throw shooter. Yep, trying to get the great foul shooters in. I've seen an nine point lead blown in 59 seconds. Ball got tipped, so he's able to grab his own inbound. He can do that. A.J. Gecker had to foul. You can. The coach is really upset about Andy, that call. The crowd does not like the fact that the Army came back in to get that basketball, but the ball was tipped. He yep. stepped in and caught it after he made complete touch with the Oh, Hudson with his 38th point. Drew Drake back in. 70-61 Southwestern on top, 37 seconds to go. Put the short, clear out of a Tyler Gecker. And he'll pull up a three from the parking lot and hits it. Another timeout from Trinity. Six point game, you said it, Dan, it's not over. Far from it. That's a final timeout, I believe. 70-64. Back at 60. This break is brought to you by Mux Crane and Contracting. Mux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. With over 20 years serving Columbus to Greenwood, Shelbyville to Indianapolis, and surrounding areas, Mux Crane and Contracting welcomes challenges that inspire our expertise. Call Michael Muck for a consultation at 317 317- 512-3614 or visit their website at muxcrane.net That's muxcrane.net This break is brought to you by Kudos to Trinity Lutheran for not giving up. Here we are. Back at Spartan Dome. 30.8 seconds to go. Sparks with the ball. Leading 
64, trying to put this game away. But Trinity Lutheran is making an incredible run right now. Great inbound. Get to get the ball back to Hartzell. And great patience by Winling there. There's three sophomores on the court right now for the Spartans. Just took his free throws. First is good. Anna Cartel makes a free throw. That is huge. That puts it back up to a three possession game. Clutch. Hartzell. Got them both. Trying to go through on the attack. 24 seconds oh, down eight. Hand. And he threw it away. Chuck Burksbury threw it away. The Spartans get the ball back with an eight point lead. Ethan Wendling will trigger the inbound. Get into Hartzell. Oh. They still fouled him. Oh, Christian Diarman, I think, had an open dunk there. Thank goodness they blew the whistle. That was. Yeah. Days is rallying his troops. Yeah. Yep. At a nine point lead, 73 to 64. Back to offense, defense. Drake for Blotcher. Let's put Drake in to rebound there, I think, David. Yeah. Putting Blotcher in to shoot free throws in case he gets fouled. Missed it. Missed the second one, caught out of there by Gecker. Going out there, he throws a three up off the back rim. He may have been fouled, they didn't call it. Wide open three from the left side. They got Sackman with the three. Christian Diarmi got shoved before the ball came in. Seventy-three, sixty-seven. That's not a two-possession game. Christian Diarmi will be shooting free throws. That's long two free throws. One of the Spartans, twenty-two. Christian Diarmi. Come on, Christian. Out of kid. Got the first. Out of kid. Look at the smile on Mike Diarmi over there. Yeah. He's pretty happy about that. Is that Christian's first point of the game? Yeah, it is his first point of the game. First but point of the game after all that defense all night long. Shut their number one score down. The kid finally gets a free throw. Now make both. He's got one more coming. And he missed it. Tyler Gecker. But they're out of timeouts. Three ball is missed. The time expires. The smart hang on to not trying to loot throw it off. 74 67. We'll be back in 60 seconds on the Spartans Periscope Network. It is brought to you by Michael P. D. Armit, attorney at law. Being arrested and or charged with a crime can be scary. Michael P. D. Armit has devoted the vast majority of his 20 plus year career to handling criminal cases. Having served as both a defense attorney and as a deputy prosecuting attorney, he's uniquely positioned to identify legal and factual issues in your case. Call for a consultation at area code 812-375-2503 or visit his website at thearmatlaw.com. That's thearmatlaw.com. Crane and Contracting. Mux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial. We have the 
We're back here at the Spartan Dome where the Southwestern Spartans hung on and knocked Trinity Lutheran off 74-67. The scoring really got going in the fourth quarter. Um, Trinity Lutheran outscored Southwestern 35-26 in the fourth quarter, but the Spartans hung on for a 74-67 win. Caleb Hobson. Our player of the game was also leading score 38 points, 10 of 12 behind the arc, 2 assists, 3 three rebounds, also picked up 4 steals. He was active on defensive end as well. But uh, that, that doesn't uh, mention about the importance of um, uh, Christian DeArmit's uh, defense. Uh, as he held uh, A.J. Gecker, who's leading scorer for Trinity Lutheran, held him just 10 points. But Mitchell Hackman picked up 13. Jake Marksbury picked up 13. And Tyler Gecker, who is A.J. Gecker's brother, picked up 13. So as Trio picked up 13, and Trent Shoemaker added 10, they are able to hang in there. Made it a really good ball game. They were down, what, David, 18 at one point? Yes, down 18 at one point. They cut all the way down to six and really, really made things scary yeah, down the stretch. Hey, well, the Spartans hit some free throws late. Caleb hit free throws late. They kept fouling Hartzell. Hartzell went to the line. At least was making one or two. Uh, Christian did hit a big one late. For his first point after a great defensive night, David, as you mentioned. So just a big win for the Spartans and a, and a tough fighting comeback for the Trinity Lutheran. They should be really proud of their effort tonight. Yeah, but they the average about uh, 66 a game coming in. They got 67. It doesn't appear like uh, being held to 32 through three quarters they were going to get that. But it, they caught fire late, 35 in the fourth quarter, but wow. Spartans hung on. I'll tell you what, Spartans, what does your sheet say there, Dave? Spartans scored 48 points in the second half after only 24 in the first half. Actually, it's 50. 50? And yeah. Trinity Lutheran yep. got 49. Yep. That's amazing. So it's defensive half, it's a defensive, um, defensive first half and a scoring second half. All right, that was good offense, good defense, a lot of wide open threes due to ball penetration, kickouts, and great team basketball by the Spartans tonight. Everybody contributed well. Uh, that's very true. I don't know if we're going to have any post game interviews. But. School record. School record 10 threes. threes. We've had some kids that come through here that can fly and light it up. You got Ryan Rook, all time leading scorer. Bryce Rowe down in the front row when he hit his when he hit his ninth one was pumping his fist. So, yeah. Nope. We had uh, his dad came up here and asked him to come on down. He said that his grandfather watch the game. He knows how I can go home and watch it. Watch the replay at home. I'm, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I imagine the Hodsons are going to watch that one for a while. I know I would, and well, he should. What a great night. Well, it may be tough for me to watch it because i got a few others uh, to go through. Yeah, you do, Dave. Get your stats. All right. Going to wrap it up in the Spartan Dome, Dave? Yes, uh, the Spartans won over Trinity Lutheran 74 67. They've won six of eight in this building and take the all time series lead eight games to seven. With Dave Blondell, producer, and my partner, Kurt Correll, this is David Covington saying so long from Spartan Dome. Nice job, guys.